Hey guys, Pankaj here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about another hacker rank series problem. And in that problem, we'll be using a dictionary combination as well as some inbuilt function. Okay, so let's see the problem statement now. Let me open hacker rank. So under hacker rank, I'll go to this time algorithm. Under this, we'll have that problem, okay? So we have a lot of problem. Let's talk about, yeah, migratory birds. Okay, so in this problem, they have already given some stuff of code. Okay, so we are going to fill this particular part. Okay, so let's see the problem statement now. So given an array of bird sightings or sightings where every element represents a bird type ID, Determine the ID of the most frequently cited type. Okay, so whichever bird is uh, more frequently seen, that is what we need to find out. If more than one type has been spotted, that maximum amount return the smallest of their IDs. So let's say more than one bird has, you know, uh, different, different occurrences, right? So take the maximum of that. And finally, whatever is the common, return the minimal uh, ID number of that particular bird. So let's take an example here. So example array is one, one, two, two, three, three. So there are two type, two each type of one. So one, but type one is having two times, type two bird is two times and type three is one time. Okay, so pick the lower of the two types. So what is the lower? So one, one is also two types and two, two is also two types, right? So which one is lower? That is one. That is what we have to return, okay? So what is the function description? Complete the migratory bird function in the editor below. Migratory birds has the following parameter. They are just providing this particular array. Okay, so we have to find out the minimum. Return integer, the lowest type ID of the most frequently cited words. So most frequently cited word, there could be so many pairs, right? So in that, whatever is the minimum ID that we need to return. Input format, the first line contains an integer and the size of ARR, that is array. Uh, the second line describes array as n separated integer, each a type number of the bird cited. So constant n should be greater than or equal to five, less than or equal to two into 10 less to five. Okay. So here they have given, it is guaranteed that each type of uh, bird is from one to five. So they have made our job very simple here because we just have to look between one to five. Okay. Sample input. So first line will have number of cited word. So cited bird. So number is six. So total six bird will be there. One four 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 five three. So total uh, output is four. Why? The different types of uh, different type of word occur in the following frequencies. So type one, if you see here, it is one word. Type two is zero word because type two is not at all existing, right? So you may be puzzled like why type two and three is considered here. Why type two is considered here? Because they have told it is guaranteed that type will be from one to five. Okay, so. You list down all the type and just put against uh, that number whether it is one time occurred two time occurred zero time occurred okay so all one to five they have given now the type number that occurs at the highest frequency is type four so this is the only number or only type which is occurring more number of times okay and there is no competitor for this so four will be the answer let's talk about another example so we have 11 cited words so all the numbers now in this Final output is three y three because one is cited two times. So that's why one is two, two is two, three is three, four is three time and five is one time. So more number of type is, that is three. So how many birds, bird type is cited three times? Type three and type four. So in type three and type four, which is the minimum number? That is type three. So type three should be your answer. Okay, so let's proceed the program and write it. So they have already taken the input and all. We just have to, uh, they are just passing the array and we need to solve that particular array problem. Okay. So as I mentioned, they have given type will be only one to five. So what we'll do, let's talk about this dictionary comprehension. Those who doesn't know about dictionary comprehension, go back to my previous video where I have recorded it properly and just watch it, then come back to this problem because I'm going to use dictionary comprehension here. So in this, what we'll do, we'll iterate over each cited word and we will take the type from one to five, okay? And get the count of each bird. So let's say type one, how many times it has occurred? Get the uh, key as one, 
and total number of occurrences of one and similarly for two three and four and five so up to one to from one to five we will prepare the dictionary and later we will find the what is the maximum number of occurrences okay because that is what we have to do right and find all the occurrences where maximum number is there and get the key and from that key you take the minimum of that okay so what i'll do i'll take our op equal to i'll create dictionary combination right so what is the syntax here we will have key and followed by value followed by for loop correct so for here your uh, maybe some number and sequence okay so this is your syntax let me just comment it so let's iterate over it for i in range so they are taking from one to five right so five will exclude so i'll make six one to six and here i'll give i that is your number and the key key is i and value will be your total occurrences of that particular type okay so here i let let me make for type okay because type one to five we are taking right so here you give type and their occurrences right so occurrences will be from the array it is a list of uh, those type cited right dot count in the count we will give how many times that type has come so let's give this type okay type is already uh, inbuilt keyword right so let's choose some meaningful name i'll just give t as type okay let's not override the original type functionality and array dot count t looks fine so how many times that particular type is occurred in the array so now we have completed it let's print op okay let's run it whether we are getting the type or not okay so one is one type two is zero type three is one type that is the example they've given right so one is one type i think they are taking this one yeah this particular example so we have exactly one one word two zero word three one word four three word and five one word yeah exactly so up to here it is fine now what we have to do we have to find their total number of occurrences okay so what is the maximum count basically here if you see the maximum count in this particular dictionary is thing one then we have one then three right so if i get the list of all the uh, values of that dictionary and from that list if i take the max right so i should get this particular number that is three correct that is the next job we have to do so what i'll do now let's remove this max num equal to op dot since op is a dictionary now so i'll take op dot values and get the max of it okay so let's check whether it is really printing the max three. So guys, remember this is the way we have to debug, okay? Because in this platform, there is no direct function for debugging. Keep using the print and just get it done. So what is the issue here? Dictive has no attribute value. Ah, oh, it's values, not value. Okay. Now let's print it. Okay, so debug output is three. So this is the number we wanted, right? If you see the highlighted one, type four has occurred more number of times, that is three. Now we got the three here. And after getting three, we will see what kind of type has been occurred exactly at three number, okay? So whichever is there, then pick up that key and append in the final output, okay? So what will I'll just create final list list of those type id of those birds so that we can get the minimum of that okay so final list let's remove this so what i'll do for so let me just think i'll take the key for each key okay for each key in op dot keys 
if now get the value of each key that is each type id okay so they have already occurred right and that i have already shown them in the form of dictionary okay so i'm going to trade over it for op if op of that particular key or that particular type equal to so here what it is going to return from that dictionary of that type what is my occurrence okay so that will be this if it is equal to max num so because i have to find out right how many time that what is the maximum number how many such type of words are there who has occurred in that many number of time okay if it is equal to this then what i will do i am just going to append that type what key okay so in this particular list i am going to have all the type of those words which has occurred exactly at this particular time. okay now for to debug what i'll do i'll just print it let's run it now so i should get four right because four is the only one which has occurred yeah so i'm getting that bar type as four that is what they have also got right so once you get this kind of list what we have to do we have to get the minimum of that particular list so let's say four is also there three is also here so type four has occurred three times and assume that type five is also occurred let's say type three has occurred exactly three times okay so what is the minimum of those type type three and type four minimum is three so three should be the answer okay so we have to use in build function min and min of final list okay that should be your answer so i think this is good enough let's run the code now and this is the function right so we should not print it rather we should return it remember guys printing will not help here if you see they want the return okay so be careful while using print or return once everything is fine your debug is done then use return function or return keyword to return the final output okay let's run this okay so for this particular input we got four let's run the submit code see what is coming now okay great so all test case has been passed and for every test case we are getting the right answer correct okay so if you want to just test it right with this particular input they have already given though i can just show you how to test against custom input right you can write your own number here so i have 11 input or maybe i'll give let's say 15 okay so out of 15 i'll add another number 3 4 and let's say 2 also let's run it now let's see the answer so now 3 is the answer why 3 is the answer if you see here 3 is occurring how many times 1 then 2 then 3 and 4 times correct what about other number 4 is also occurring 1 2 three four four times right so out of type three and type four what is the minimum of three that's why we got minimum as three that is the final output okay guys so what is the catchy point here you have to use dictionary comprehension okay it's not really required to use it but yeah now by this time you you are you have already got to know right how list comprehension was how dictionary comprehension was so this is the best way to optimize the code see hacker rank always checks how fast your code is running if you are using multiple for loop just to get this particular dictionary i think you may be adding extra overhead right so what will happen if your program is very big it may fall uh, i mean it, it may fail by telling that timeout time out has occurred okay so you have to be very careful if you can optimize your code while writing better do it in the first place okay don't wait for at the last moment when everything is fine and you are just going to optimize start writing in that optimized way itself Okay, guys, so this is the best way to, you know, uh, practice, take different, different kind of problem, try to solve it. So if you, you really want to learn, right, how fast we can optimize the code and how fast we can test all kind of, or how, how fast we can pass all the test cases. So better you start writing the code, run it and see what is happening, whether it is giving time out, if it is giving time out, go ahead and optimize it and run again. Okay. So maybe in a couple of next video, I'll take some problem where timeout is really occurring. Okay. So you may have written your correct code and you are expecting everything to pass, but it is not going to pass. It is going to fail because of timeout. 
so how to optimize your code that we'll see in next video okay guys thank you bye bye